Hi everyone, this is Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to take a look at how to use this clamp meter correctly to measure AC current. This particular digital clamp meter was purchased at Harbor Freight for only about $15. It comes with the normal multimeter functions as well as the clamp meter. It comes with a case and some leads. So it's a pretty good low cost meter. I will say though that it, if you're looking for super accuracy, you're going to have to step it up with something a little bit better than this one, but this is good for general purpose. So this main video is how to use the clamp meter rather than focusing on this particular brand. So I'm going to show you how to use it, so let's get started. Okay, so after you've purchased one of these, you'll soon realize that you need an optional insulation tester, and it says right here on there, to use this function. And if you go into the store and ask them for this, they'll tell you that they do not even have that. So, no big deal, we'll make our own. Anyway, when you're using this meter, and you have a load, let's say that we wanted to test how much current this heat gun is putting out you would think that you would go ahead and just clamp on to the wire and then take your measurement let's go ahead and try that let's go ahead and set our meter for 20 amps here and we're going to try to keep our wire right in the our wire right in the middle and go ahead and turn this on and you can see that the reading is jumping all over the place and the reason why is this is incorrect to use this clamp meter this way any clamp meter um, this would be incorrect what you need to do is isolate these two wires that are inside this jacket with AC current you have opposing current and it cancels itself out and it gives you an incorrect reading so the way that you want to do it is separate them and I made this little separation tester here and it's just a male and female plug-in and I've left the three wires individual without the uh, jacket on it so you can isolate the wires and clamp on ju to just one wire. Let's go ahead and take a look at a video I made of putting this thing together it's fairly straightforward, but I'll show you the video because I filmed it and we'll speed it up. And then I'll come back and show you how to take a reading with this wire. Okay, so it's just a simple matter of putting a male and female plug on each end of a wire and then stripping this wire so we can get to the individual wires. Okay, so that is how you would build one of these isolation testers. I, you could also take an extension cord and split the two wires with a knife very carefully and then pull them apart and just use it f for that purpose as well. But I think this is much better and you can keep it in your kit and use it. So the, what we're going to do with this tester is go ahead and unplug our heat gun. We're going to plug it into this adapter that I made and then plug that 
adapter into our power strip. Now we can go ahead and pull the hot, neutral, and ground wires apart. And it's best to keep the wires away from each other as much as possible. We're going to pick, pick the white wire to test here. Now, on this meter, you'll notice that there is an actual setting over here in this red to use the external tester. And I will tell you that this does not work with this method. You must use the amperage settings over here. I'm going to set mine on 20 amps here, okay? So we're just clamping one wire and leave the wire right in the center. Let's go ahead and turn on our heater here, our hot gun. Now you can see that we're doing between 6 and 7 amps, which is correct for this heat gun. It does jump around quite a bit, and that's why I say that it's not super accurate. Now you can press this hold button in here on the side, and it will stop at the highest value, which you can see is 6.84. So that is how you would use your homemade isolation tester and build it as well. Hey, I hope this video has been some use to you, and if you like it, please give us a thumbs up questions you can leave them in the comments below so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now hey guys this is steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya